Confluence is a great tool for managing content as a team. Whether you're a marketing team making a campaign or a product team writing user documentation, it's that perfect base for managing any type of project you throw at it. But with so many different types of content floating around, you're gonna need a plan for how you're gonna structure everything. If you're not careful, things can get really messy and you can lose content buried in that page hierarchy. Let's look at some best practices on how to organize and display your content so that your team can navigate Confluence more smoothly and be able to understand the most important things within your space and within your hierarchy. I'm gonna show you how to create really useful overview pages in Confluence and how to use some of the most underrated macros to put your content to work and make your information accessible at a glance. So everything in Confluence starts with a page, just like this one. But a single page doesn't just contain things like text and images. We're not just talking about like a Word doc or a Google doc, like I said, we're here to put our content to work and with Confluence, we can do more with it. This example here is one of the pages where we draft up our new marketing content that we're working on. And yeah, it contains the content itself that we're gonna be posting or sharing or producing, but it has a lot more than that. The key to a powerful page is two things, a properties table and a really good label. See this table up here? This is where the magic happens. This is a page properties macro. Inside the page properties macro, you stick a table that's full of what are called properties. These values can be text or dates or macros, all that good Confluence stuff. And properties are content that's about your page content, kind of like metadata. The page also has a label that identifies what type of page it is. You can check out our video all about labels to learn why these really, really matter. So this page does much more than hold a few bits of content that are only visible to people who navigate all the way through the hierarchy to find it. Instead, it's set up so that my team can see everything that's happening on this page and every other page just like it really, really quickly. How? With a mega powerful overview page. This, my friends, is what's called an overview page or an index page. Whatever you call it, it contains two different types of information. The first type is content that explains what the page or maybe the whole section in the hierarchy is all about. In this case, it explains the process that we use to create content marketing materials. It's the sort of content that you might put on any old Confluence page. But then it also contains an overview or summary of all the properties on all the marketing content pages. All that information that I put into those page properties tables on every page is nicely rolled up into this one page where I can see all of it. This lovely little list here is generated dynamically using the page properties report macro. This macro brings together the content in all the page properties tables on all of our content marketing pages with the label marketing content. I've also changed some of the settings so that it will be sorted by the publishing date, which is important to us, and it's in reverse sort order. With all this information in one place, it's become the spot where my team can come and see everything about the content release process and see what pieces of content we have in the pipeline and where they are. They can see how many articles we have, what state they're in, who the author is, and when the planned release date is. Overview pages like this are a really powerful way to get everybody literally on the same page. Or figuratively, because it's a digital page. There are so many examples of other kinds of overview pages your teams could create to make your information more accessible. For example, your marketing team could have overview pages for your campaigns, events, and newsletters. Your product teams could have overview pages to collect feature concepts, customer interviews, and document user testing sessions. The HR team could have a really powerful project overview page where they can see every project that's in progress, like updating the employee handbook or defining remote work policy. At K15T, we even have overview pages that contain the content of other overview pages, like this one we use to manage everything about our microsite, Rock the Docs. On this one page, we show the team that works on the site, we list the navigational links that will be helpful for those people. We list new content that we're working on for the site and the improvements we wanna to make to the site theme itself. That is one powerful page. And with many of these overview pages, you've probably noticed that we use the create from template macro. The pages created using this button are immediately bubbled up to this overview page to keep content easy to read and easy to review. Check out our video all about templates to learn more about this particular macro and why templates rock. So that's a look at how your team can organize and display content powerfully using overview pages in Confluence. 
But these are just the ways we found to do it. What about you? How do you manage your content structure and confluence? And what are some of the ways you've used the page properties macro or any other macro in that case? Let us know in the comments below. And of course, there are so many other great ways to use confluence. And at K15T, we have an overview page full of ideas that we want to explore. So hit that subscribe button and share this video with another team that's looking to navigate and highlight their best content and join us for another video as we continue to explore how to use Confluence to share what you do best.